Toyota has been eager about getting back to full sales form this year after a challenging 2022, and they are addressing the delivery issues in the greatest way possible by launching a frenzy of new products. Despite the fact that they brought the 2024 Tacoma midsize pickup truck superstar to America at the end of the first half of the year, complete with a host of technical and aesthetic innovations like the 326 horsepower iForce Max hybrid powertrain and the brand new Trail Hunter trim, among others, they are not at all done with their work. In fact, people in Europe should be ready for the upcoming arrival of the second generation C8 Shark crossover SUV, which may have an entirely different design from its foreigner. The renowned off-road Toyota nameplate, the Land Cruiser, is making a brief comeback in the US, which is one of the nicest pieces of news to have hit the country recently. We were intrigued by the fact that the old Continent announcement used the same teaser idea, which included a collection of historic Land Cruiser insignia, and it made us wonder if America and Europe would both get the same Land Cruiser model. That suggests Toyota will launch the replacement for the J150-based Land Cruiser Prado in both regions, not the current J300 Land Cruiser offered in the Middle East or at home in Japan, in accordance with our thoughts, which are in line with rumor mill theories. Since 2002, when the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado reached its third generation, the vehicle has remained on the same basis. A new frame will be used by the mid-size 4x4 SUV as it enters its fifth generation. Yes, Toyota's midsize 4x4 SUV will continue to be built with a body on frame, unlike the Land Rover Discovery or Defender. The TNGAF platform, which made its debut in the Land Cruiser 300 in 2021, will support the next generation Prado. The Toyota Tundra, Toyota Sequoia, and Toyota Tacoma all ride on the TNGAF and are all offered as hybrid vehicles, either as standard equipment or as an option. Toyota made the Land Cruiser lighter by 200 kilograms, 441 pounds, and it's likely to make the Prado lighter by any means necessary. The following generation Land Cruiser Prado might have aluminum body panels as a result. It is possible that the hood, doors, mudguards, roof, and tailgate will be made of aluminum like the flagship SUV. Likewise, these changes may enhance stability at high speeds and weight distribution. The corporation might think about shrinking the fuel tank in light of the advances in fuel efficiency and the range benefit provided by electrification. Increased body rigidity and enhanced on-road handling are expected as a result of the redesigned frame. A brand new double wishbone front suspension and multi-link rear suspension are most probable features of the next generation off-road vehicle. Most likely, a limited slip differential and a full-time four-wheel drive system will come standard. The driver should be able to move between high and low gear ratios more quickly with an upgraded electronic transfer case. There ought to be an option for an electric locking rear differential to increase traction. The next generation Prado, the all-new Land Cruiser 250, will be about 4,950mm long, 1,980mm wide, and 1,870mm tall. The current model 5-door variant measures 4,825 mm long, 1,885 mm wide, and 1,835 mm, 1,850 mm tall as a point of reference. Our expectations for a spacious third row of seats are increased by the extra 125 mm length. Toyota wants to make sure that every model in its lineup is at least partly electric, unlike many of its competitors who want to switch over to all-electric cars by the end of the decade. According to reports, hybrid technologies will be implemented in the Land Cruiser Prado as part of the company's electrification effort. According to a Cars Guide report from January 17, 2023, Toyota Australia's Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Sean Hanley, said electrifying the Land Cruiser Prado makes sense. According to sources from Japan, Toyota will have two hybrid engine choices for the upcoming Prado, a gasoline and a diesel model. The next generation Toyota Prado is anticipated to have a clean, low-capacity gasoline hybrid powertrain for markets like Japan with strict fuel efficiency regulations. A 2.4-liter turbocharged engine complemented by a single electric motor built into an 8-speed automatic transmission would be a reasonable solution for such markets. 
The total power output is anticipated to reach 325 horsepower with an electrically assisted 2.4 liter turbo charged gas engine combination, along with 450 plus pound feet of torque. When compared to the non electrified 2.7 liter normally aspirated gas engine in the outgoing model, which in Japan produces 120 kilowatt 161 horsepower and 246 newton meter 181 pound feet of torque, this is a significant improvement. Toyota may use a 3.5-liter V6 engine with about 400 horsepower that is electronically assisted, according to rumors. The likelihood of this situation, in our judgment, is low. The 300 model, which is the full-size Land Cruiser, is more likely to receive any future V6 hybrid powertrain that the business decides to produce. The fact that the 2024 Lexus GX will include a 2.4-liter turbo hybrid engine is another piece of evidence supporting our theory. A 2.8-liter engine and two electric motors are claimed to be combined in the diesel hybrid powertrain. Nothing is known about the anticipated power, torque, or fuel efficiency. In comparison to the ordinary 2.8-liter diesel engine in the outgoing model, which generates 150 kilowatt and 500 newton meter of torque and achieves a fuel efficiency of just 11.2 kilometers per liter, the electrically assisted diesel engine will obviously need to perform better in all respects. Toyota may be considering including a Land Cruiser Prado fuel cell variation in the model's long-term plans, according to a report MagX published in the magazine's May 2023 issue. Hydrogen fuel cell technology might be more appropriate than battery electric technology in areas with hydrogen infrastructure, for heavy, long-distance vehicles, and in remote location. Electric cars using hydrogen fuel cells offer the benefit of having a high energy density, quick refueling, and less range loss in cold weather. In the smaller off-road SUV, Toyota might provide numerous new features from the new Land Cruiser. A few features that might be included in the upcoming Land Cruiser Prado include sequential turn indicators front and or rear, a gesture tailgate, a 14-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, a 3D multi-terrain monitor plus panoramic view monitor, an electric parking brake, and Toyota Safety Sense V2.0 or higher. With a wireless charging and USB-C ports for smartphones, the brand new Prado may also provide extra convenience. A GR Sport model, similar to the most recent Land Cruiser, will be offered on the upcoming Toyota Prado, according to a report. The exterior of the GR Sport trim may have been changed to look tougher. Expect unique radiator grille, bumpers, wheel arch moldings, rocker moldings, black mirrors and handles, and GR Sport badges. On the inside, the GR Sport grade might include a different color scheme and particular design items, an infotainment system with a unique startup screen, and GR branding on numerous items. Apart from the cosmetic improvements, the Land Cruiser Prado GR Sport standout features ought to be bigger tires and a unique suspension system that unleashes greater off-road prowess. In terms of capabilities, toughness, and dependability, only a few cars in its market can equal what the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado delivers. It has a large number of devoted fans who have proudly owned and used it for hundreds of thousands of kilometers because of its durable body-on-frame design, which gives it outstanding strength. With the help of a makeover, the absolutely bulletproof SUV should continue to carve its niche into the 2030s, as UK-based Liam Young claimed in 2015 after 16 years and 410,000 miles with his 90 series vehicle. It is anticipated that the upcoming Toyota Land Cruiser Prado would be a significant improvement over the present model. Modern design, improved connectivity, and equipment will carry the SUV well into the 21st century. Powertrains, both conventional and hybrid systems, should enjoy an efficiency increase without compromising performance. However, there are and will continue to be exceptions, and the Land Cruiser Prado is without a doubt one of them. Traditional heavyweight off-road SUVs are losing ground to the emergence of crossovers and rigorous emission standards, with Toyota's own FJ Cruiser having to deal with this. And so did you love what you just saw? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.